Hello and welcome. This uh, video I show you a new script I wrote for quickly creating chains. Um, so let's get uh, right started. It's this button over here. And well, if I want to create like a dynamic chain, workflow would be like this. First, I would create the um, dynamic curve. So let's quickly do one. Run a rebuild. Okay, that looks good. Now I make this dynamic and apply this script to this uh, dynamic output curve. So let's hit the button. It's you can see it's very simple builds. It gets here a choose menu for link type, rounds or classic oval links. So let's stick with the oval and click uh, load selected. So, load it up down here. Now you can, um, with this simple rig, you can uh, do some shape adjustments to the chain link. And yeah, once you're satisfied, let me just put in some values like these. You select the curve and click uh, create from selected curve. Uh, information window pops up here where it tells you the length of the curve that's going to be used, the length of each link. Based on that it calculates the number of links and on that it calculates the estimated time. Uh, this uh, will rise exponentially the more links you have so I do not recommend creating chains that are larger than 300 links or so because after that your calculation times really are going to bump up. But however, 40 links is fairly good. So let's click proceed and here is our 40 links chain. And I find, let me undo this, I want to create uh, one with finer, smaller links. So like this, I want this way better. So now it's uh, 32 links, create that. Now this chain looks a little bit larger. So the way this is rigged is it creates a locator, um, connects them to the curve, and creates an up, like, an up vector locator that uh, the link will follow as the up vector. So for a chain like this, and the way the up vector locators are placed, uh, it will very quickly get into um, flipping so what we would do is select all of the up vector locators and just move them to the side anywhere like this. And now we can create, we can play around with the chain. Let me introduce myself some little bit more time. And you see now the chain creates. You need to do some tweaks now on the hair system and nucleus because this obviously doesn't look like a chain. So let's do this now. First the nucleus. I'm increase the sub steps to 8. Reduce the scale to 0 0.01. This is because of the Maya unit system is based on centimeters and the nucleus system here is um, based to meters. That means that in order to match those two unit systems we need to divide the nucleus uh, scale, space scale by 100 to cal uh, calculate from meters to centimeters. That's because that's why this value is in here. Let's get on the ground plane, um, bump up this friction, let's say 2.7. Now in the hair system we introduce some self-collision make uh, introduce some collision with offset. Now chains obviously don't stretch at least not further than this so we can bump the stretch resistance up to 200. Well chains can compress so let's leave this uh, compression resistance fairly low. Bend resistance they can bend in a very close angle because of the way they are built so let's reduce this to a fairly low value and 
yeah that's it let's see how this looks from now uh, one one last thing let me just uh, remove the point lock from both ends to base in order to have a loose chain oh, wrong one in this case I would need to do the tip and now we can play a little bit around with our chain and see how this uh, behaves and as you can see from the simulation it already looks pretty good we get some nice collisions chain bends correctly looks good and the thing now is uh, pause the time and I still can I'm still able to modify the the look of the link and it will update on the entire chain if I don't want this uh, to happen anymore I can select all of this chain links and click this last button which is free selected links and that will remove the connection between um, the preset link and the chain link so now the chain is uh, a closed system with no influence from this preset so that's it um, I hope you like this if you do please post a comment I'll put the download link for the script in the description and if you have any comments or questions post them now that's it see you next time bye